What's that Child, like that? a three two win over Halifax Town, just how big a win is that even too early on in the season? I'm not one who um, sort of, I suppose goes along the um, lines of being that significant, if I'm honest. Um, it's great to win, don't get me wrong. Um, will that affect what happens through the, the rest of the season, in my opinion? Um, I'm more concerned about it. I'm more concerned more. Um, focused on us getting better um, and, and getting better defensively especially um, and that's only where, where my focus is. Um, so to win's great, brilliant, we'll enjoy our wins, go on we can recover and, and, and prepare for the Monday now. In terms of significance, I don't think it's hugely significant, the fact is we've got three points and puts us, I suppose, we've taken three points off, off one of our rivals, I truly believe they'll be, they'll be up there um, and I hope more than anything we will. Um, so that's, uh, again, that's not the, the, one, the one big thing to say we'll have a, how happy were you with the immediate response after falling behind? Yeah, um, it, it's always difficult doing things at games. I think you, you write things down and um, you sort of. Uh, you, you, obviously, obviously, the disappointment of conceding is. is um, it's one that doesn't last very long because we score, like I say, we score straight away, but um, I'm still disappointed with, with, with the, way, the way we've defended. We've got an, exp we've got an experience back four, and at the minute, um, they need to get better. They need to take responsibility, they need to be organising, and, um, and, and, and I suppose not only taking responsibility for themselves, but with experience, becomes responsibility for others, um, and making their jobs easier by getting older people and, and getting them in the right places. Um, at the minute, we're not doing that, or we're not doing it well enough. We're not doing it um, that, that in, a, in a way that's affecting things. Um, but like I say, we'll, we'll work at it. Um, we don't get like, we don't get a big amount of time because the game within uh, 48 hours. Um, and obviously, look at next week game Saturday, Tuesday, the following game Saturday, Tuesday. Um, so again, we sort of um, look at look at things a little, a little bit further further down the line. Um, when games start becoming sappy sappy if you like. Um, and that's hopefully when you'll see the work that we're able to do will will pay for issue. Um, but in the meantime, we've got to get through games, we've got to keep picking up wins. We're showing some great uh, attributes and great characteristics of um, of teams that can be successful. Um, but we've got to show we've got to show we're learning, we've got to show we're taking things game by game, we've got to show we're getting better. Um, granted this league's really tough and Position to try and stop you, stop you doing or try and um, prey on your weaknesses if you like. Um, we've got to, like I say, make sure that, that our, our weaknesses become, become stronger um, and are, are more focused on what we do. There isn't much time until next game now, Monday against Bradford Park Avenue. How do you deal with such a quick turnover in games? Again, you're, you're reliant on players really. Um, we can bring them in tomorrow, we can give them a, a recovery session. Um, like I say, we'll, we'll, we'll do a cool down now. Um, the lads will be fed well. They'll be again responsible for them for, for rehydration and getting the right right fluids on board and the right stuff in their bodies. We'll have ice baths. We'll do everything we can. But ultimately, with a with a quick turnaround, everyone's in the same boat. So listen, they'll be tired, tired bodies, mainly. That, that goes without uh, without question. That's what we're saying. Um, but it's another massively important game for us, and we've got a. Again, I suppose we've got the, the fillet, if you like, of winning today and knowing we've got three points in the bank and um, going to Bradford on Monday and winning would be a, a fantastic weekend for us. Um, and that's what that's the incentive for us. It's going there and, and backing up our first win here um, with another uh, another win, first and foremost. But again, an improvement in our performances and taking things on board and a different challenge in terms of what they pose and what they throw at us. Um, but, I suppose all the time focusing on us and focusing on what, what we need to get better at and listen, we need to get better at everything. But um, what we can what we can improve on and strengthen them up with the bits we're already good at. And finally, quite momentous day today, the first win for Fylde here at Mill Farm. How important was it to get that home win so early on the season? No, I thought it had come two weeks ago if I'm, if I'm honest, but it, it didn't happen. Um, so listen, we, I suppose, especially being here, listen, it'll take a bit. It'll take a bit of time. Even now, just it doesn't seem. I suppose seems surreal in the fact we're playing in the ground like this. But I mean, just to have a frame around the ground that will make it again make it.
make it make it different. Obviously, our first night game on, on Tuesday was great. We've got 1,900 people here today. They're getting a, certainly getting exciting football. As I said, in the, in, up there before the game, not great for me. Um, I'd much prefer a boring one nil. I'd take that one. Two 0 probably. I'd take the whole day. Um, but that's the way. That's the way we are. Um, listen, this this place um, needs to be really special to us. Um, we, we were we were good at Kelmer. Um It's been a, a really successful place for us. Um, everyone will love coming here. That's what, that's that's a given. So that in itself is a challenge for us. Um, and we're still you know, we're still getting our, used to our surroundings. These are surroundings that again have fit to grace. Um, any any league, um, and we're very very lucky to have it. I think um, we've got to we've got to cherish that. But ultimately, on our rectangle of, of grass, and we've got to make sure that what happens out there takes away from anything that goes on round round the outside. Um, three points to us is is huge game on game. Um, regardless of what, like say what, regardless of what you got behind the scenes, the, the luxury of our, our changing rooms and things like that, ultimately this is a football pitch, a team from somewhere else are coming and are trying to rain our parade if you like and um, game after game we're going to have to keep producing and keep producing that, that's where, completely where my mentality is and that's what the, the, the players need to, to, to do and if they, like I say, if they buy into that we've got a real, real chance this year um, but we need to improve and, Right. Oh.